Wait, wait, did you see that? Go back, go back, go back. Holy sh- uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 oh. Oh. This image was made with a relatively simple and inexpensive $220 microscope using an imaging technique called dark field. This is where the specimen gets a lot more light than the background, so it looks like the microorganisms are glowing in the dark. Now normally you would need a microscope with a condenser lens, but the dark field technique used here is a bit different. It can be used with much less expensive microscopes, like the ones for kids that cost less than $70. This is because this type of imaging doesn't even need a condenser lens to get these very nice results. Just as a comparison, you are now seeing through the same microscope at a higher magnification and using a common bright field illumination technique. This is an aggressive scavenger called Collapse. They are normally moving around very fast and at the first sign that something is dying, they attack. Sometimes by themselves and sometimes in groups, pretty much like piranhas in a river. Collops can sometimes swim in a straight line and sometimes in curves, but usually they are very fast, which makes them difficult to get a good look at. Luckily here, these collapse are after something that is stuck to the glass slide. I have no idea what this is, but if you do, let me know in a comment below. So now we're looking at the same collapse using the same microscope, but this time using a form of dark field imaging. To me it looks like a peeled grape and it's still moving around quite a bit, which makes it kind of hard to keep in focus. But what I really find interesting about these images is the sense that you get of a three-dimensional space. In the beginning of this video, something happened that I've never seen before and I have a hunch that it's not that common. A collapse was floating around when another one came rushing into view. Keep an eye on the highlighted area and see if you notice a shadow that the moving collapse casts. It happens fast. Did you see that? I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. If you have, let us know in the comments section. I don't know if I should really call this imaging technique dark field. The working principle is the same, but the light comes from the side of the slide glass using a single high-powered LED, instead of coming from the bottom as a cone-shaped beam of light. But the effects are similar depending on the specimen that you're looking at. I'll see if I can make a video that shows the details of how to make this easy and inexpensive upgrade that anyone can enjoy, even if your microscope doesn't have a condenser lens. For the next several seconds until the end of the video, I'll be quiet and let you enjoy the view of the Collapse and his diatom friend. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have a question, I'll be glad to respond. Thanks for watching and until next time.